coming here. You're not you personally, but like they will only come if their friends performing, and then once they're done, they'll they leave. leave right. You know, and and I, I'm at fault for that. You know, I've done that when I was doing doing the performance and all that. Like we would leave right after, and but yet we would want everybody to be there for yeah. us, yeah. and it's like yeah. that's not cool. We gotta definitely support, be there. So we have poets, jazz singers. Yeah, so I think I think I think what you're saying is true because it, it, there needs to be a high level of appreciation for the art. Yeah. I remember, like, have you ever seen the Nina Simone documentary um, on it. Netflix? Oh, I, I will be I will be watching her that. Her daughter produced a documentary on her life, and one thing about Nina Simone is that she came from the world, like the classical piano world. So, like, when you go to when you go to see classical music, even when you go into theater, which I'm a theater artist as well, nice. um, there's a certain etiquette that people have, that audience members have, in terms of like having a respect when people are performing. They leave at certain times. They're not just like walking out in the middle mm -hmm. of the show. Like people are very attentive. So Nina Simone, who was like a powerhouse, she wrote um, the song Four Women. She wrote Mississippi Goddamn, which was a song condemning the murder of Megger Evers. Mm. And um, the four young ladies who were killed in Birmingham, Alabama. I mean, literally record companies threw the record out when, not record companies, um, radio stations threw the records out when she sent the radio, the records to the radio stations because it was so controversial. My favorite but, song. What is it? What? Strange Fruit. Strange Fruit. Yep, she did it. Billie Holiday did it. You got it. But, um, so my point I'm making is that at one of her concerts, she was so intense. When, at one of her concerts, she was performing and someone stood up to go to the bathroom. She stopped and said, hey, you sit down. Literally, she's performing. She's like, sit down. And she did not Stop pointing her finger and, and reprimanding the, per the person until they sat down. And then she continued Ooh, on. That's so that's a high, to me, it's a high, again, it's a high right. level of appreciation for the art. Right, right. Yeah. Right? Ooh. Can you imagine? So as you watch, if you watch the, the documentary, you'll see it. Yeah, we might have to watch that. Check it out. Mm -hmm. For real. Check it out. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's a great documentary. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah, we done, we done, we done touched some lovely Hoffman, y'all. You know, you know what I'm come like, on. Y'all can't, y'all can't. Just black can't hear y'all clap. Black ice? Yeah, black ice. Black ice. Black frost. Black frost. Black frost. We, we got to gotta keep it team, team frosty. Frosty over here. So I was, they told me that I had to come up with a name. Yeah. About frosty, so I said black frost. That's team frosty. Frosty Oreos. Frosty Oreos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Frosty McNuggets, frosty McNuggets. McNuggets. The one and only. Oh, you already right. know. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, <laughs> let's touch down on this news a little bit. Because there's a lot of stuff that I have in my heart and my soul. Mm -hmm. So what was the guy's name that you sent me from uh, Somerville or Charlestown that kidnapped the girl for uh, uh, Victor Pina. Now, there's, 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 no, there's really nothing to say about that, but that was, it's, he's, 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 he's off. He's mentally off. Like, there's, nothing, to, he, there's nothing else to say about that. Like, he did it. He knows he how did it. But why you say that? Again, it's an unsettling case, and I don't know what happened. But I do know that the brother of the victim stated that this young lady was dead. It's a really interesting case. Because yeah. I remember reading, I'm like, man, this is messed up. And then when yeah. I saw that, I'm not saying that's what happened, but it's, so it's why interesting. He, why did he break down and be balling like that in court? What would happen if you were a female for two days and she was voluntary to keep coming and like, Well, but you know, I don't I know what would, happened. Yeah. I'm just saying that, I'm like, just, it was it just it was on Boston.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so I, I read it. I mean, I didn't really, I didn't explore all avenues. I just was brought to light of this mm -hmm. yeah. today. Yeah. So what I did was I clicked on the link that you did. You know, yeah, it was. Me. I watched the video. Yeah. I watched him in court. I watched the ex girlfriend. Um, wait, wait, are we talking about the same person? So the, yeah, um, Victor. They were in the same Hall, right? They were at a bar in Singapore Hall. Hennessy's? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's and the she signal. left. They were, they were shown, there was surveillance shown that he had his arm around her. They walked from the train station to his house, to another train station. So this is all, all documented. Okay. The police went to his house, didn't find any weapons mm -hmm. at all. So it's interesting to see, right? Like, it's just like, what? Right. Well, see, see, now, with, see, 
It's kind of like what he was saying to me and what you were saying to me. Without that inf- other information, right. you never really yeah. know. So from the naked eye, exactly. you're clicking on it, looking at it on the news, you're like, yeah, you've been charged with kidnapping and he's yeah. just balling. Exactly. You know? And he's not looking, yeah. looking at him. Yeah. He's not looking like he's all there. So my first impression was, this is a mental health issue. Me too. You know what I'm saying? And he probably needs some help. Not to say that, like, you know, he was you know, or whatever. No. Nah. Like, it's a, In general. It's a, it's just looking at it, it's a mental health issue. And he probably needs some help. He probably did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But from the looks of it, it yeah. looked like he did it. Yeah, his brother said that he had contacted him. He said, my brother definitely had issues. Like, he definitely had mental issues. He wasn't all there. But he said his brother would never, he's 100% sure his brother would never do anything. So when I heard that, I'm like, wow, this is, like, interesting how this unfolded. So I'm interested in what happened? Yeah. But you know what's the bad thing though? It's Massachusetts. And and the in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It's like women rule. It's like you you would have to have without a shadow of a doubt all actual evidence and proof that it didn't happen. Right. And that's the thing that bothers me so much about woman can say anything and a man can let's look at all these people let's look at all these people and all the things that's happening and this is going to be a segue to you know the, the so called rape in Atlanta now we can look at I see some of it. I seen a couple of the episodes, and I was just like, I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I can't watch anymore. What episode is what? Um, Surviving R. Kelly. There's six. I didn't see it. There's six episodes. Because it was it was all repetitive. It was all repetitive. Now, in my opinion, the man has an has an issue. He has an issue. But at what point? And that's my. That's, oh, I love that question. At what point does somebody from his entourage, his management, his crew, his people say, yo, man, yo, tell me. We cannot be chilling at Piedmont High. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you can't. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but. Did he kill that Piedmont High? No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Be, I'm just saying. Be <laughs> on high. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't yeah. Nah, see, but you know, but the, it was the it was a local high school out in Chicago. Yeah, actually hanging out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he okay. was like, I think it after, might have been the one school. that he went to. Yeah, I think I think it was I the one that he went to. Because a lot of the um actually was because one of the teachers um was in. They actually interviewed him. And she was like, Yeah, I, I had Robert in class. And, when he was in school, yeah. and then she was like, once he got big, and, and you know, he would still come by. Now, at first, it was like, you know, he would stop by to kind of like inspire the kids and be like, hey, I made it out. But yeah. then, like after like, it would be on a regular basis now. Like it would be to the point of like, oh yeah, R. Kelly's out in the front show. Right. You know, like just he's in his bed. In his bed, chilling like. With the, but, with the eye. But you know that you but yeah, you yeah. know too that, that man has suffered a lot of trauma as yeah. well. You know what I'm saying? Now allegedly, allegedly, he was, you know, less than my own sister. Was it his sister? Yeah. His older sister. His sister, really? yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and again, the allegedly sister, there's no the older sister actually It, it was something. It's, it's something, something. It's something crazy. So there's a like whole it, lot of stuff it's, going it's, on in that yeah, family. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a right. history like a of it. Of it stuff it, in that it's family. there's a lot of stuff happening. Just there's just too much. Listen, I. You know what I? You know, this is what I think. This is what I think. Go ahead. Let him know, Oreo. Stop talking. Because it's like it hurts the brain. <laughs> R. Kelly has a. R. Kelly has a problem. R. Kelly has a problem. Right. 
but nobody tried to help this man with the problem. Nobody tried to stop this man from doing the things that he was doing. Now, now, he brings sparkle, he brings sparkle into the picture. Now, the girl that he supposedly peed on was her niece. And the girl yeah. that she brought to him. That's one thing. Then they talk about the whole thing with Leah. Now, everybody want to get on him for He oh, actually yeah. fabricated the document fabricated for the document. her oh, to really? get Change her age. Yeah, Change her age into age. everything. Yeah, it was. <sighs> it's a lot. It's, I think I think what's important, like a, a good, a, an important lesson from this, I think, though, is that yeah, like, what is the, yeah. like it's what, basically. I won't say what do you guys think. Important lesson? No. no. What do you guys think the important lesson from this? Is? I mean. As an educator, I, I, I guess I'll just start with you. No, go ahead. Because I think it's, I think that, um, you know, as, as family and as, you know, as community, we have to go back to that. It takes a village to raise a child, really. Facts. Because Facts. I feel like, um, you know, we have to be more attentive to what's happening with our children and our young people. And I feel like sometimes we get caught up in that day to day, the work, the money. But I definitely think it's important for us to be sports. Sometimes it's to pay attention. Yeah. Pay attention. It's not about the Jordans. It's not about the cell phones. It's not about getting our children material things. Attention means so much to our to young people. And I, and I remember when I was young, like, when I would return home from school and I was part of the mock trial, whether it was something I learned in school, my mother was home. And I was, like, just to get her attention and be able to share what, what happened with me at school was, made the biggest difference. It mm-hmm. wasn't necessarily material things. We have to pay attention to our children because our children need us. Yeah. Sure. And, um, and I, you know, I haven't seen the documentary. And, you know... I, so I, I can very I can empathize and, and sympathize with the women who went through what, what they went through. I don't know all the facts. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't know all the facts. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that, but like we really gotta do a better job, yeah. you know, with our children. Because our children are not only the future, but they are the present. And as you can see, a lot of stuff happened because um, from what I've heard, a lot of stuff happened because you know we were we were not doing our due diligence to our children. We gotta do a better job of that. Right. And that was my second question. Yeah, it, they, they, it, and, that's, and that's the part that's so, so mind-boggling. Like, one of the girls, I guess, like, whatever age, he scooped her up at the mall. And it's, and it's supposedly everybody had to dream of wanting to be a singer. Okay. Yeah, that, that, like, the, that was, that was, and I hate to say it like this, but that was his end in order to get that. Yeah, it was, you know, what music. You the, the okay, f- even if that was his... That no, was but his I'm day. saying, like, that yeah. was... That's even how he got close, by by giving him that false... Even if, even if that was his game. So, it, I mean, I can't make excuses for him, you know? It, all I know is, like, he would he would prey on 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 people who didn't have that connection with their community, yeah, exactly. you know, and the ones that were there, it, it, for me personally, and again, I'm not trying to, it, it's like, they heard allegations of the situation with R. Kelly, but the biggest factor was the fact that he went to trial and he got acquitted. That was the from from what we saw. There was a lot of trauma. Yeah. But this situation, I don't know who's seen the video or who hasn't seen the video, but this woman was on Facebook Live. Um, you know, supposedly, well not supposedly, she was trying to get back at either her husband or her ex-husband, trying to make him jealous, I guess, and she left her home state. Some dude all night twerking on the dance floor, pulling up a dress, no bra, girl. You know, she says she stopped screaming, no, 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 stop in the video. So you heard that? You saw her say that? Yeah, yeah, you can hear her say, stop, stop. Okay. Like, help me. 
Don't get but, it. But it wasn't. There was no don't stop. It was. It was. It was a. St- See, it was a stop. But it was. A, it wasn't a no. Don't. It wasn't a no. It was a stop. Okay. All right. So the thing that got me was, you know, if you watch the video, you know, there was a moment in the video, and that was the first thing that caught my eye, because uh, YouTube. And I wish I could have caught it live on Facebook, but YouTube is playing from my understanding is playing the video kind of back. They're, they're piecing it together. So it's they're leaving pieces. It's it's leaving pieces out. You know, and now this now this is from the words of the man that it happened to. The alleged the, the alleged, alleged perp. Right. So you know, there was moments, there was a key moment in the very, very beginning of the video that caught my eye. And they was dancing, music playing, and whatever was going on, in my eyes, it was like a moment of pleasure. She had a head back, eyes was rolling, you know what I'm saying, mouth open. You know, guys, you know that, that, that face your woman makes when... You're there. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looks like to me. And then she just. So when did she say stop? She 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 bends over, and this is where the guy is saying that she just fell forward, dead weight. Okay. And he's holding her. He's holding, trying to hold her up, and she's saying, "Stop! Somebody help me! Somebody help me!" But she's saying it like that. Somebody help me! Somebody help. It, it, I mean, it, it was, it was, honestly, it was a brief moment. After everything happened or before? Um, I'm going to say during. During, so, like, all of the... So, when the, when the song, when the song dropped, it was the Future, I think it was the Future song that dropped. Something. Yeah, it was the Future song that dropped. And why they doing what they doing, like, you can see she's just a head back. You know, it's just those, those movements. It wasn't a movement of, oh, I don't like this. She looked like she was digging it. And then she just yeah, kind of went like that. Uh, Stop. Somebody help me. But this whole time she's screaming and saying this stuff. She's on Facebook Live. Okay, there it is. There it is. That was my favorite question. At what point <laughs> do you get off of live and dial 911? Okay. No matter where you're at. 911 works in any scene. So she was recording herself on the phone. I was going to record her. No, she, she was, was recording herself. A, that was her phone. And she, so she had it in the phone. Allegedly. Alleg- it looks, it looks like, like it. it. Allegedly. That's it what looks she's like saying. It. But you can't really see the guy. Okay. Yeah, it, it, the whole situation, I mean, it's the, it took me, I think like a day and a half to, 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 finally figure out what was going on just because one there's just so much going on in the world right now so many different videos of of different situations so I couldn't it took me a minute so when I finally saw it I I guess either I wasn't paying attention but they started the video when right before you were talking about how she was it looked like she was having in in a sense of pleasure Right. So that's where I started watching. The, that's where I caught it. Right. Um, and when I first seen it, I did notice that, but it wasn't. It didn't necessarily register in that way. Like, oh, she's she's enjoying that. Okay. You know, like I did catch it, but it didn't register. I just I was just watching the video, okay. and so while she she has that quick moment of pleasure. And then kind of like, I guess, a couple seconds maybe. Yeah. It might have been one of the edited videos that you were talking about, but maybe like a second or half a second or even two seconds, that's when she goes forward. And then that's she when you hit. on his chest? No, no. no he, he, he's holding her. From behind. Like, from yeah, behind. like they were, she oh, was so dancing. this all happened from behind. This yeah. was on the dance okay, floor. So, so she, okay. so if. So she's, she's, she's doing all this and he's 
behind her. Yeah. And then at the end, she goes for it. Yeah, she goes for it. Her. Well, it doesn't, I don't know if she falls for it, but she is. She, 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 falls, she goes for She leans you forward. Can, you can clearly see. Now, it's, it, it, there's, there's, there's a big speculation that there probably was in a court because from the, from the video, you can clearly see his arm around her chest or his hand on her chest, but it doesn't look like there's anything else there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, when you see the video of her on the stage, which happened, now, they're saying this has happened after this supposedly went down. She's on stage, she has on a red dress, and she's pulling up a dress, no draws on, twerking on the stage. It's it, like supposedly was after, we don't know if it's before after. Well, all this is alleged. This is yeah, all of alleged. this is alleged because I'm, you know, like I haven't heard anything from her. Did she file a police report? Like, how, what, ha- what happened since that happened? She, this, now this just happened MLK weekend. Okay. This was over the weekend, right? MLK weekend. Okay. Um, she left Atlanta. Okay. Well, before she left Atlanta, she went to have breakfast with her homegirls that was with her and another guy. And. Guy posted on the husband's page okay. and on the dude's page, like, look, I went to I went to breakfast with Jasmine, her homegirl, her homegirl this, homegirl that, and she was laughing, joking. At no point in time did she say she was ever sexually assaulted or raped, and I'll testify in court to that. Now, she didn't go to the hospital, she didn't go to the police station in, and the land mm-hmm. saying, don't believe her. Saying it's, it was all for show, she just wants some attention, and then uh, there was a rape allegation. Now. She, went to, she went to a police station, got a rape kid at a hospital out oh, there. Wow. But from what the guy was saying on his interview, was you know, but just because she didn't mention it didn't mean that it didn't, that it wasn't a rape. I mean, I didn't see the video, but like, I don't know how much. They were so they so, were so and so so all right. So if you hear the guy's interview with the woman, he says when she went for it, me and her friend um, J Bug or whatever her name was um, brought her to go sit down. Did she know that the friend knew that she had that happened? What? Which part? The the rape part? Well, yeah, the alleged rape. Did the friend know that? I don't know. That's all I'm it, saying. I'm, I'm only hearing, I'm only hearing one side of the story, which is his. But I'm, I'm looking at trying to piece together. I'm trying to piece together everything just from her video. Yeah. yeah. And the whole time it was live. Yeah. The whole time. But you also said it was kind of edited. It was part. You don't know the sequence. Right. Right. Well, I would say this. This. I would. I would. I would. I would sum it up like this. Kind of like the moral of the story. Nah, I, I look at it like this. It was, and I think we I, we spoke about this earlier. There's two kind of perspectives. The first perspective, men. The lady says no. Stop. Simple. Don't fall on the floor. No, I'm no, no, not even, not even necessarily talking about the video. I'm just saying, in general, if you're in a situation and you're you're trying to get get the get the goods or do whatever it is that you know, if if you're in the heat of the moment, there we go, the heat of the moment. If you're in the heat of the moment, and she says no, stop. Simple. That's that's the first aspect of that. Simple. Don't do it. Is is don't stop. Go home. Okay. Go in the shower. Say the action is already taking place. And, and she, she says, says stop. And she says stop. Now we all we all know that adage. It could be is it stop stop or like 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. And and this is again, this is just me personally. If I hear stop, I will and walk out. Now, most guys may not be able to agree with me on that, and that's cool. I'm saying me personally. Stop. Stop. I don't care how it sounds. I don't care if the eyes in the back of their head. Me personally, I'm just scary like that. If she says stop, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I and that's, that, and honestly, that's just me, and I'm being honest. Well, just like, speaking to the women, a lot of times, that's I, don't just me personally. Gets, I don't think it gets to that point. Like, I don't I don't really hear cases where people are actually in the middle of it. Yeah, but I'm just saying, though. That's, if, like, doesn't really, that's not really the more common scenario anyway. No. But I do want to say, too, that, like, you have a daughter? Okay. Yeah. I have a son, and I'm raising him right. You'll be surprised, like, in terms of, like, child A lot of times it's from someone that you know, and a lot of times it's from experience and knowing, having a lot of friends who experience it. A lot of times you just don't know, you don't say anything. It's the, it's the, it's the craziest thing. Like, you, but a lot of times it's not necessarily crazy, but like a lot of times we don't say anything because it's for fear it's going to like disrupt the family or like it's going to cause a lot of drama or it happened a long time ago. Maybe the person changed. Like, it's most of the, a lot. Most of the time, it's from someone the family knows, and a lot of times, women do not speak about it, about it, up about it. They don't. Now, I don't know the scenario with the sister you were talking about um, in Atlanta, but like it, it's, 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 it's a reality. It's it a seems, reality. It seems fishy. It does that. It seems, that may se- seem fishy, but like, I, I know. You have daughters. I, I do. I and, do. Um, I do. I have a lot of daughters. Yeah. And or they're afraid that like dad's gonna go off and he's gonna go to jail or hurt this person, so I don't want to say anything. Or mom, so it's it's there's various reasons why people don't speak up. See, <clears throat> okay. Some I'm women gonna, do. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this right. Uh, nah, you know what? I'll save that for when the cameras are off. All right. I'll so, save that part for when the cameras yeah, are off. Yeah, we can off. talk off the record. So we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. This has been a great. Powerful, yes. awesome, yo. This is this is yo, season like, three, bro, yo. She brought the power. Brought the. So t- she set the bar real high too, yo. Oh. The so bar was set high last week, but she just put that to the moon, yeah. man. The, listen, she she brought she brought that that bar right. You know when you play limbo at the birthday parties as a kid, this. This, I lost this, that limbo. Let's not, I don't like, want to talk about that. But there's that. always that one kid that can get up underneath there. <laughs> it be just. She put it there. So, whoo, Thank you. Whoever's up next, whoever's the next guest, got to bring it. And let me just say this, too. Check me out, lovelyhoffman.com. Oh, yeah. I have quite a bit of things coming up. A new single I'm going to be dropping in February. But yes. also, I'm going to be in a musical, Carolina Change, Ooh. at um, the Boston Center for the Arts. Um, so come and check me out. And... For all my upcoming performances, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, <laughs> lovely Twitter, Hoffman, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. Um, so check me out, though. Check me out. Yes, yeah, yes, and we'll have all the links um, in the description below for everybody on YouTube, and we'll try to have the links um, on our page for everybody on Facebook. So please, please support Miss Lovely Hoffman. Check out her music on SoundCloud. I'll have a link um, for that as well. Yes, get ready. We Black always is Black History Month is every month. Yeah, Black History Year, but some people like to check it out. Check it out. We got there's so much more um, that we have coming, but please support Miss Lovely Hoffman. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Cool, it's cool. It's I didn't know what to expect. Did, did you like it? It was I cool, did. right? The vibe? It was chill, yeah. It was chill. See, it was chill. Please, all the future guests, you heard it. It's chill. Come You're going to have a good time. It's going to, we got, we got so much more. A um, uh, couple of announcements before we shut down. Um, uh, we got our, I'm bringing, we have a weekday in update special coming on Sunday. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Um, we have a community an urban planner slash researcher. Um, she does a lot of great stuff for the community, trying to 
get people aware and, and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. That's this Sunday, the weekday in update special. Um, happy birthday, baby. You know. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Um. Happy birthday to you. Um. Happy uh. birthday. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That's how we gonna end it. Just that's for you, baby. Oh, yeah. So I got gravy points. <laughs> Y'all, we'll catch y'all next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. All day. That's how we do it. And we yeah. gonna, we see y'all. All right, yo. YouTube, you already know. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Ah! <laughs>